Welcome back, guys, to JM's 7 Days to Die PvP Playground. I am JM, and this is my playground. Anyway, we're here today. We're going to be uh, digging up a treasure chest. We found a treasure map earlier, and we read it, and it gave us this chest. So, we look on our... Many map here shows the chest right there. You can see my many bike is right there. Treasure chest is in that location. The way you find that is going to by going to your quests, clicking on the treasure map. This is Taylor's treasure map, and clicking the map icon here. Not this one, but this one here, and it'll take you right to that treasure map. If I wanted to go look at Claude's treasure map. Do the same thing. You can see that's 552 meters away. Click on that, and it takes me to where that is. Then I can zoom out and see how far that is. It's not very, very far from where I am right now. So probably when we get done here, we'll scoot on over to the other one. Depending on how this one goes, uh, I probably won't dig that one up on camera. So I've come up with a method I think is pretty good. For digging up treasure maps I do a grid pattern first of all start out you can see the in your compass up top the treasure map is right in the center I've got it centered so I'm pointing right at the west direction you can do this any direction north south east or west but do not use the northwest the southeast Use the north, south, east, and west directions. Okay, we're going to head towards it, keeping it centered in our map, in our compass, excuse me. And as soon as it turns red, right there. Oh, we'll drop a bunch of this junk. You see, the first thing I did when I got here is clear out this area. You wouldn't need to do that. I just did it to make it a little easier for you guys to see what I'm doing, for me to see what I'm doing. On a PvP server, this is a PvE server right now. This is a Survival Gaming League's PvE server. On a PvP server, you wouldn't want to do this because another player coming along might think it's a little suspicious that all this area is cleared out, and he may start digging, thinking maybe there's something underneath, and find you. So, we've got the red light flashing. We're going to look straight down. It's got to be here. Now, is it this way or this way? Let's go here. Jump up and drop a, a uh, frame right there. Now, if you don't clear it out, you may want to put two frames, make it easier to see from a distance. So, start from that frame. Go one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks. Drop another frame. Now, it's uh, what I should let you know is I have never, I haven't used anything to put into my treasure hunter skill. Um, it really isn't a whole lot point in doing it. As you get a higher level. You can dig faster and faster, so putting points into that skill, unless you're you're on one of those servers that you know you can get like 300 levels or something, and you have points you have you, you know that you have nothing to do with. There's really not much point in putting putting points into that skill. So we got 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That's 20. Now, more than likely, when I go beyond 20, watch the compass. The red light will stop flashing. That's 21, 22. So, yeah, I'm right about on 22. It stopped flashing. So that tells us the center is going to be at 11. Since this is 10 from there, 11 is going to be right next to it. That's the center. So now since this isn't in the destroyed biome or, or wastelands, 
People call it different things. We're going to have to use a pickaxe. Now, unfortunately, I didn't bring a steel pickaxe because I thought I was going to be digging in dirt. That's why I brought the steel shovel. So, hopefully, our iron pickaxe is going to be enough to get us through the destroyed biome. Now, you always dig down three blocks. Exactly. Three blocks, no more. Looks like we're a little thirsty. Let's take a drink. And we're infected too. We'll worry about that later. Now, once you're down three blocks, you need to start going outward. This is where the, the north, south, east, and west comes into play. You aim one direction. Doesn't really matter where you start. You go east. Let's, we're going to start with east. And go as far as you can. Do not move your character. Alright, we're going to go all four directions. We went east, now we're going to go south. Okay, still haven't found anything. And we're going to go west. Alright, nothing that direction, and we're going to go north. Start out doing it this way, because sometimes you'll you'll do this and you'll find it. Sometimes you just look straight down, you'll dig down a couple blocks and it'll be right there. Alright, next step is we're going to extend these tunnels until the compass, until the treasure chest in the compass stops flashing. So we're going to continue to go one of the four directions until the compass stops flashing until the treasure chest stops flashing red. That will let us know that we're outside of the treasure chest area and obviously there's no point. Now we've, we've changed over to dirt so we're going to grab our shovel Make it a little faster. Back to the pickaxe. See that now? It stopped flashing. Lost it in our compass. So that's as far as we need to go in that direction. And we're going to go the other direction. Remember when you dig for treasure chests, it's never more than three blocks below the surface. So there's no point in going any deeper. Now you can see that's where our our frame is. We're going to go ahead and pick it up. So going beyond that, there's no point. It stops flashing. Going to just be cautious just in case this really shouldn't be necessary. If it were there, there would be a void and you would be able to see it. Alright, let's go this direction. until it stops flashing. There we 
go. Stop flashing. Once again, we're just going to be... going to make sure... Oh, when we hit sand, we're going to switch over to the shovel. We can one-shot the sand with the shovel. See, it's not going to be there. Alright. Got one more direction to go. Since it's so easy to do with the shovel, we're going to use the shovel as much as we can. We gotta switch back to the pick. We'll do that. Oh, shovel. Pick. Compass stop flashing, so we're outside the area. Now, we've gone all four directions, we haven't found anything. So the next step, take your frame, you're in the center there. Okay, from the center we're going to go one, two, three. Put a frame there, get there, put a frame there. Now we want to go this direction. More than likely, it's going to be... Oh, I think we found it. No? No, maybe not. Thought I saw a void. Switch back to the shovel. Oh, yeah, we did find it. See, there it is. I going to say, I thought I saw a void. More than likely, it's going to be close to that center block right there. Okay, because you found the center. So it's going to be close to the center. You're probably not going to have to go way out to the end like it did there. So, before you open that chest, make sure you've got room in your inventory for anything you get out of it. Um, don't need these schematics. Alright, we've got a, plenty of spots in our inventory. Now, one thing I want to mention really quick. Some guys will say, well, why don't you use an auger? That makes it really, really fast. Yeah, you can dig a lot faster with an auger than you can with a shovel or a pickaxe. The only problem is these chests are not very sturdy. You can whack it once probably with a shovel and you're not going to destroy it. You accidentally whack it a second time with a shovel or maybe once or twice with a pickaxe, you're going to destroy the chest and you might lose everything that's inside of it. I've had it happen with a shovel. Just using a shovel, not really paying attention to what I'm doing, and I didn't open up. Oh, we're rebooting the server. So, sorry about that. We're back. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, I think I know what I was saying. <laughs> Anyway, don't use an auger, and be very careful even when using a shovel. Because if you smack that chest a couple times with a shovel, it'll get destroyed. And I've done that accidentally, and I've lost my treasure chest. It's supposed to drop a green bag, and then you can loot the green bag. But it doesn't always happen. So, better off to be careful. We can see what we got. Hit E. Very, very nice. 100 shotgun shells, 27 silver nuggets, 15 gold nuggets. Yeah, it's kind of a crappy SMG, but it's still worth 3,600 dukes. And you can turn an SMG, no matter what the quality is, into a turret. 
50 rounds of ammo for the SMG. Usually they come fully loaded as well. And then a crappy AK receiver part. Hit escape or E. See, you see the chest disappears once you leave it. That's why you needed to have room in your inventory to fit everything you're going to get out of the chest. We got one, two, three, four, five, six items. So you need to have anywhere from four, usually four to six spaces in your inventory. Or you'd have to start throwing stuff out while you're in the chest. One more thing I want to show you real quick. If I'm doing this on a PvP server, I'm going to get some of that rock that I created. Go to the recipes and create some destroyed stone. I'm going to go ahead and create a bunch of it. Although I'm not going to use a whole lot. I just want to show you. That hole that I made in the center originally, okay, that would have been right there. Normally, you wouldn't have this all open. I didn't worry about it because we're on a PvE server. But you could take this destroyed stone, plug up the hole, and then you could do your digging totally underground. Somebody could run by right on top of you, and they're never going to see you. Now, they might hear you, so if you hear them, if you hear something running around above you, you might want to stop. And, you know, then you make a decision on where you go from there. But, if you're underground, and even if they do hear you, see how this works with the destroyed stone? You can fill all this in. Now when I go look up top, I'll show you in a minute. I'll go ahead and jump out here. Look at that. It looks just like, you know, aside from a few bumps and stuff, and obviously your frames. Nobody ever know you were there. Now, obviously, you fill that in as well. So, anyway, that is uh, my method of digging for a treasure chest. Uh, it's the best one I've, I've come up with so far. I've uh, I've heard rumors. There's there's another method where you can you can do the frame thing like I was showing you, and then log out and log back in and do it again and that will narrow down the area i tried that once and it did not work um you know maybe there's somebody out there that has figured it out that way um and if you have you know leave a leave a message down in the comments um, but that's the best method i've been able to come up with the most efficient method and hopefully in, you get your treasure chest every time and you get it as quickly as possible. So, guys, thanks for watching uh, JM Seven Days to Die PvP Playground. I am JM. And this is my playground. Hey guys, so I decided to go ahead and do another uh, treasure chest here uh, on on camera. We're going to try to speed up the process just a little bit here by eliminating the digging from the center all the way to the edge of the treasure map area. We're going to try just digging about five or six blocks maybe and then do then start the pattern because normally uh, your chest is going to be in that area so there's really not much point in digging the first four tunnels all the way out to the edge of the area 
and then going on the on the other tunnels. So we're going to go on those other smaller tunnels first. More than likely, you're going to find it in, in that area. So we've already started here. Uh, we're going to get our heading east now, our third direction. See what we come up with, and one more time. Our fourth direction. Then we're going to go make our side tunnels. This way. I'm going to go ahead and make some plains ground above us. Well, no, we're not going to make it above us. We're going to make it and place it above us. This is what you would do on a PvP server. Basically, to hide yourself while you're doing the digging. Now, if someone comes along, like I said before, they can walk right over your head. They're never going to know you're down here. Uh, once again, as always, uh, we have the gamma turned up to 200% on the game, as well as our gamma turned up on our computer as well. So you never really need a light, need a light source. Uh, you can see there, that's the destroyed stone that I used back in the other treasure chest. Since we're in the plains biome, we used, we made, we made, uh, plains ground. So, one, two, three. Put a frame there, frame there, then you know that you're centered. So that you hit the center of the block. Go ahead and dig this way to the edge of your shovel, or as far as your shovel will reach, and go dig the other way as far as your shovel will reach. Oh, is that it? No, I thought for a second there we had hit a void. Guess not. Probably because it's a little darker. One, two. Actually, yeah, this is not right. We don't need to go this direction. We've already gone this way. Let's go back. There we go. One, two, three. Yeah, you know, you can use the frames or you can eyeball it. Really depends on how much time you think you have. If you're playing on a server and you're not worried about time, because there's only a few other guys online. But, you know, sometimes you get on these PvP servers and there might be 30 or 40 other players online. And the last thing you want to do is spend a whole bunch of time out in the wastelands, vulnerable. Already check that. Let's go over here. All right, let's go a little farther out. And we're going to go one, two, three. this direction what it is sometimes about this oh there it is there you go so you make that grid pattern you can see that's a lot easier a lot more likely to find it you know when you make this grid pattern with the tunnels like this plus the other thing is if you just dig out a big hole in here, the roof is going to collapse down on your head. 
That's a good bunch of good stuff in this one again. Bunch of dukes. Diamond, gold, silver. Another full uh, SMG. All right, guys. So once again, use your frames. Make that grid pattern like I was showing you. It'll make uh, digging for your treasure map, treasure chests, a heck of a lot easier. So if you think this uh, video was helpful for you, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button or, or what do I say, shoot it like a zombie brain. Give it a headshot. Give that like button a headshot. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you next time.